Elizabeth Valerio. I am the president of the United Zimbabwe Alliance. It's a new political party. We were formed in 2021. I'm a Zimbabwean, a very concerned Zimbabwean. Mwanawe jira, mwananu pa kumashingo, kumo against our mission. Mwana chai, arukuchieme na Zimbabwe, dino era moyo. I'm literally from Ben. Kwanambuya Kwangu, Kwachiwi, Kwanatakawarasha. That's where I come from. So, on both sides of my family, these are people who are very concerned about Zimbabwe. I'm here with the strong voice saying, as a woman, there's a reason why. Yeah. We are not seeing the country going in the right direction and we want to see Zimbabwe move forward. Um, and I didn't seek this out. So I, I, a lot of people ask me, why were you wanting to contest in this election? Um, I had no choice. I was actually elected to serve as president of my political party. And the expectation is that I will represent our party at the highest level, and that is as a presidential candidate. Uh, I got involved in politics initially because I was trying to protect Zimbabwe's uh, natural resources. Uh, I live in Wange, very close to the national park itself. I'm a tourism operator. I've invested heavily in the tourism sector, as have so many other people. And a few years ago, I led uh, or was part of the team that led uh, a campaign to appeal to the current president, um, asking him to reverse a decision he had made to allow coal mining in the national park. And that's how I really started my um, entry into politics. Uh, after a period of time, people started contacting me from all over Zimbabwe saying the same thing was happening in their area. People were exploiting um, areas that had some very important natural shrines, um, you know, some of them even grave sites. You know, so it was for me a very big issue. And I started trying to find ways to appeal to the government, to pressure the government. And I called a meeting of people, unexpectedly, you know, people I didn't know. But um, the, my intention was to create a pressure group and to try to convince people, to, to get the, this pressure group to convince uh, the, the, you know, the authorities and government to do the right thing, to honor the, you know, the tradition, the culture of our people, but also our natural spaces, our wildlife, and preserve resources for the Zimbabwean people. Because I saw a lot of people who were coming in to do this exploitation were not Zimbabweans, they were foreigners. Um, as we sat around the table to, to have this conversation about forming a pressure group, everyone sat around the table and said, Elizabeth, the elephants are one thing, the, the wildlife spaces you're concerned about are one thing, but Zimbabwe needs help in many other ways. Um, and they started bringing up one issue after another issue, the education sector, the healthcare sector. Um, I mean, it was a long and very intense meeting where we were talking about all the broken things in Zimbabwe. And we came to a realization that all of these problems, the main theme that wove through them was the fact that government was not doing what it was supposed to do. Government was not serving the needs of the people. Government was not putting the people first. And so we started having a conversation about what they should be doing. And we realized um, they should be governing uh, responsibly. And we decided at the end of this meeting to form a political party. That's when I was uh, elected president of, of the United Zimbabwe Alliance. Sitting at the table, there were people from two different political parties. This was the main one, and this was the other main one, right? And this was the main opposition, I should say. And we decided we were going to bring Zimbabwe together as one political party. That's the history of how I got into politics and how I came to be here. People have received us now a lot better than the first days because at first there was a lot of suspicion about who are these people and who is this very different looking candidate. Uh, she's a woman, first of all. Um, I also have a very different um, appearance, I think, from every other candidate on the ballot. But, you know, as I've traveled and spent time um, throughout Zimbabwe, I've, I've spent a lot of time intentionally engaging with citizens, wanting to meet them, wanting to know who they are and what they want. Um, you know, as I've spent more time with people, Gosh, the, the response has been overwhelming. I just came from 10 days. We've been touring the country, meeting people face to face. Pawanogara, like we've literally been, been going to the, the rural areas, the townships and the growth points. And people are so receptive. Um, they're excited that we now have a viable alternative government for Zimbabwe. Every woman I have met has said, 
finally, you know, yeah. my mu office, yeah. everyone is excited. So I don't, you know, I don't know where it comes from. Yeah. We vote and we support each other as women. And I think women are going to do that. I am the sole candidate, uh, but women are saying a woman, it's time. Let's put a, a woman in office. Uh, we will still work with men and we will still engage all of our, you know, society, whether it's youth. Um, you know, we want to make sure that everyone has a voice. And as a woman, I know how a family is formed. There's a father, there's children, there are children. We bring everyone to the table. We share, we, we eat together. You know, we make sure the food is on the table. Women are capable of bringing everyone to the table. And I'm going to be the first president to actually unite Zimbabwe. These elections, it's a time for us to celebrate because we get to choose. The people who are going to then come and bring us what we want in Zimbabwe. Um, but people start forgetting that just because this is an election, they think now it's us against them. And it shouldn't be that way. We should celebrate each other's diversity. You can choose what you want, I choose what I want. And we should ultimately make sure that at the end of the day, we as Zimbabweans are exercising our democratic right to vote. This is a chance for us to do something very different from what we've done all these years. Every five years we go and vote and every five years nothing changes because we're choosing the same people that have been in government for decades. Uh, whichever political party you're looking at right now, I'm the only candidate who's coming onto the ballot who has no political history and an untainted very good track record if you look at the work that we've done already as Uza but also in my own personal capacity whether it's education uh, contributing towards advancing uh, the well-being of our people through economic development I've done a lot in Zimbabwe for the first time let's do something very different and choose something that is going to bring change when we say change let, let, let it mean from the highest levels um, I'm ready and willing to serve the people of Zimbabwe if they will give me that mandate five years is a long time there are people exploiting our country. If we allow it to go on for five more years, we may not be able to reverse the harm that is going to be done in our country. I'm appealing to Zimbabweans to take back Zimbabwe for Zimbabweans. That's my final word.